Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the TLP Gardening Channel, everyone. Boy, your space is not too little, your time is not too little, and your budget is not too little to do a big thing like gardening. And I'm just going to take y'all on a short little tour with me today. Good, bad, and the ugly. So this is my sweet mint. Here's a little bit of the ugly. This is my chocolate mint looking all twiggy. We've gotten so much heat so fast, guys, that it's just taking a hit, but... I still have mint, so I'm not going to worry. Here's my lavender. Here's some garlic I call myself having uh, hardening off, but it's take, got a lot of rain. Ignore that stupid dead thing I need to get rid of. Here are some bell peppers. I have some bell peppers. Got one over here, too. That's doing good. And here I got some jalapenos that I will get. Here's one of my eggplants. First time growing eggplant, guys, so I really don't even know. I just know it's growing. The leaves are growing. They look healthy, so I'm happy. Here is my lemongrass. And here's my Cherokee purple tomato, guys. I, and down in the comments, if you have any suggestions, it's experiencing a lot of leaf curl, which I probably need to spread with some neem oil. Um, However, you see it looking very untamed. I, I, I'm not doing as good a job as uh, pruning it. But you see it has, um, if you can see it, it has flowers. You see those flowers there? Those are flowers yeah, right there. But I've just been, not been getting any tomatoes, so I don't know what, what's going on. It's giving me all this growth with no fruit, no, no signs that anything started. So any suggestions, let me know. Another eggplant. And here is my here is my um, sweet potato. My sweet potato leaves growing good. I am going to get a grow bag. I'm gonna go ahead and press push uh, purchase on my Amazon bag so that I can get that um, grow bag because I got this growing in this kind of container and I don't think it's going to get enough airflow. Um, I don't think it's going to get enough airflow. I don't think it's going to get enough, I'm sorry, airflow in this. So I'm going to do the grow bag. Look, I got cherry tomatoes. Beautiful cherry tomatoes. Just waiting on it to get some color. And here are my bush green beans yay I really want them to get a little bit bigger I don't know maybe it's time to go ahead and get the first this will be my first harvest off of them so I'll go ahead and get the ones that look ready this is some ugly lemon balm that I need to get rid of here is peaches guys and I need to go ahead and look this is kind of clustered together you see that but I they just seem like they've been the same size for a while I'm going to attempt to do some more fertilizing and look up some videos to kind of help me out. To kind of help me out. Here is my... Well, I'm losing my mind here. <laughs> my thoughts. My leeks. That's right. My leeks. Some strawberries. This is some poblano peppers. I'm ready for those. They are good. More cherry tomatoes. Salvia, another bush green bean, my marigolds, honestly guys I have no idea. This is some type of pepper plant, there's no flowers, I don't know what this is, but hopefully something will happen now I can find out. This is another jalapeno, I'll be honest with you, I didn't know I planted that much jalapenos, I, I, we don't eat that much heat in this house, but sage, oh let me show you this. This is another chocolate mint, and this is one that I got from that leggy one that you saw in the beginning of the video. And I put it in a cup of water and, and grew the roots, and I think it really likes it over here because it's got getting shade, um, and it still gets the water. So that's why this is looking like it should look or would look during the spring. So excited about that. Here's some more strawberry, and my strawberry plant, this is the one I've been actually eating off of. 
This is some Swiss chard, which looks all choppy, but that's because I've been eating it. So you got some small leaves, some short leaves, some long leaves. I need to harvest some more. Here is my ginger, which is doing pretty good. I, it Some of the leaves died from when I had it growing in the house, but I know it has established roots, so I'm not going to worry. That's more strawberry. And this is my cucumber. And shame on me. You see it growing wild. I have not been training it in the way it should go. But let me show you something that I did not realize. I need to get that cucumber. Look at that. Cucumber down there. This will be my first harvest of it. And if we come around. Do, do, do. Excuse the motion. Excuse the motion. Excuse the motion. But we got another cucumber. But I can let that get a little more size on it. I see her. And in here too. Look at that. See that? Sugar baby watermelon. I sure hope that I get some watermelon this year. Um, this is my mango melon, which first time growing it, I don't see anything yet, but a lot of leaf growth. All right, guys, I'm not going to keep you out here too long. I just wanted to give you an updated tour. It's our season, y'all. So just, just I hope this is an encouragement to everyone who lives in an apartment or only has a patio. You can grow food. Be encouraged. Stay cool. Stay safe. And I'll see y'all again in the garden. Bye-bye.